Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to my playthrough of Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. This is part two. In part one, we uh, traipsed around town, uh, learned a bunch of keywords, talked to a bunch of people, picked up a bunch of items that we haven't used yet, and just generally engaged in busy work. Um, despite my promises of the game having a creepy atmosphere and uh, a mysterious vibe. We haven't really encountered that yet in the playthrough, but hopefully we will start to see some of that in this video. The only exception was in the last video, uh, the drugstore owner mysteriously and ominously said, Gabri Sanka, and then acted like they never said it. So, but we know better. We're going to find out what that means. Do I know what it means? I've Perhaps. got some things I need to do. See ya. But you probably don't know what it means, unless you played the game before. Anyway, um, we're gonna go to Jackson Square because there's a police officer here. Okay, I was um, I was having lunch earlier today. It's been about 15 hours since I last recorded, and I was thinking about the game, and I was like, I wonder what I was missing. And I was just like, oh yeah, there's like a cop or something at Jackson Square, I think. And then you ask him about where the crime scene is, or you have to persuade him somehow, or Did I can't I ask remember you exactly. Few questions? Not now, buddy. I'm busy. I should have noticed that. Thanks. Yeah, right. I think the police radio is actually the key. I think we distract him somehow. Good day, officer. Yeah. You too. Keep moving. Keep moving. Uh wait, 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 wait. The motorcycle cop wouldn't have anything enlightening to say about that. Are you sure about that? It's Detective Mosley, my friend. What about the crime scene murders? Surely you have a reaction to this. The motorcycle cop wouldn't have anything enlightening to say about that. I really want to show these. I want to show these to like everybody. These little, these little murder photographs. Okay. So I think what we need to do, you may notice or you may remember that, uh, Excuse me, Gabriel, move. God, he takes forever. You may remember that there's a character up here that is uh, annoying people. So I think maybe we try to enlist their help um, in annoying the motorcycle cop. Interrogating a mind would be an exercise in frustration. Right. See, like he's, he's annoying Why, the lady. Nasty thing, you. I'll call the police, I will. Or if that's supposed to be like a hint, like I'll call the police. Uh, can I interest you in a gift certificate, Mr. Mime? Gabriel doesn't want to encourage the mind by showing him anything. Okay. Can I get him to annoy me then? Okay, and we're not gonna tell him off. Okay, yeah, he's following us. He's following us from screen to screen, this is perfect. Okay, let's get him to come over here by the motorcycle cop. Here we go. Uh, what is the mime doing? Oh my god. Hey, cut that out. I told you to stop that. <laughs> sounds like a South Park character. All right, mister. You want some of this? Wow, it doesn't take much to piss off this cop. Um, okay, so can we use the police radio? That's right, that's what we do. Gabriel picks up the headset and listens. Ambulance 9-1, have you located the crime scene? They've radioed to you three times. Damn! Did you say it was north of the Lake Retreat Country Club? South. Lakeside Drive, north of Piedmont Pier, south of the Country Club. Man, I don't know if it's the clouds out here today or what. We got lucky. Good thing this guy's already dead. Everyone's having trouble. Must have been hallucinogens in the coffee this morning. It's just so misty out here or something. I... Hey, I see a squad car. Got it, Molly. Thank God. Have a good one, 9 one Interesting. Stupid mime. Hey, you! Get away from that bike. Sorry. Get away from that bike. 
Did you did you dust them up or what? Could I ask you a few questions? Not now. I should have. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we know where the crime scene is now. So let's go ahead and see if we can check it out. Ooh, crime scene. Let's go. Now we're cooking with gas. The crime scene team is still at the site. Gabriel parks a bit out of the way and walks over to avoid adding to the general confusion. Very thoughtful of Gabriel. Oh wow, they're wrapping up here. Interesting. Hey, mostly. Huh? <sighs> Night, you wiener. I told you not to call me that. Feeling jumpy? Who, me? Don't be stupid. How'd you find me? Oh, I was just driving by. Mm-hmm. Well, for the book. But don't tell anyone I let you see this, huh? I already got a photograph of it, dude. It's another one. As you can see, same M.O. and no freaking clues. We're still waiting on an ID for the body. That's disgusting. Isn't this a rather, uh, public area for this kind of thing? Yeah, they're freaking ghosts, these guys. Lakeshore Drive isn't exactly the 10 Expressway, but it is open to the public. No reports and nothing. Now, who the hell is that? <laughs> Good day, Miss Getty. What's going on, officer? Detective Mosley, ma'am. We've got a little problem here, but nothing for you to be concerned about, Miss Getty. I see. Thank you, detective. And good day, gentlemen. Woo, I'm in love. Forget it. That's Molly again. She's about as far out of your reach as the moon. Probably on her way to meet some guy with a yacht right now. Near here? The lake's a popular place for country clubs. If she's out here a lot, maybe she saw something or heard something. Man, nobody ever sees or hears nothing. I told you. Besides, you just don't go around bothering people like her. We've about wrapped it up, sir. It's another clean sweep. Yeah, let's get the meat wagon moving, then. Do you want to leave an officer here, sir? Nah, just leave the tape up for a few days. Yes, sir. If you'll excuse us, sir, we'll take him away. Wow, okay. I was about to say, you're not going to leave the body, are you? Stick around and take notes for the book if you want. Watch out for the muck in the water moccasins, though. I'll be back at the station. Stop by if you want to go over the case some more. Thanks. Yeah, I'd love to talk with you more later, Mosley. Mostly. Wow, okay. They cleared out really fast. Thankfully, now we can do our own investigation. So be thinking about who you think the voice actor for Detective Mosley is, by the way. Gabriel is on the sun and Clay Shaw of Lake Pontchartrain. Lake Pontchartrain? At the where some poor bastard got to see who the food murderer really are. The site is now deserted. Right. Pontchartrain, hey. Well, in the dark had a uh, reference to that as well. Let's check out the police tape. Police tape marks off the crime scene. Okay. All right, um, let's uh, check out the blood splatter here. Out, out down the spot. Will these pristine banks ne'er be cleaned again? <laughs> I love the narrator for this game. There seems to be a pattern to the lines in the sand. But if there is a pattern, it's smeared. There's only one small area that's clearly defined. Okay, well, can we see it? It seems to, but if there is a pattern, it's smeared. 
I wonder if there's something we can use. I, I don't know why I'm thinking this. Using that on the lines wouldn't be helpful. Okay, sometimes with these adventure games, you have to use what's called moon logic, which is just like... Why would that ever work, you know? And sometimes it does. Lake Pontchartrain is impressive. It measures 24 miles across and stretches as far as the eye can see. But you wouldn't want to swim in it. Why not? What if we want to? I want to go swim. Gabriel was just thinking that he could really use a lake. But he doesn't want to get his pockets wet. It annoys me that every time you do this, like, it's like, it acts like you want to take the thing with you. It's like, no, I just want to touch it. The lake doesn't operate. Oh my god. What about this? Feeling godlike, are we? I'll move the lake. Can I open the, the lake? lake doesn't open. Fine. All right, we're done here. We're done. Gabriel wouldn't get far on foot. Well, how did you get here? Didn't you get here on foot? Okay, I think maybe we go back to the police station now. I mean, maybe I, I might have missed something there. I might have completely missed something. Um... Anyway, let's see, is, uh, mostly here? Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? Uh, take I'm one. here to see Detective Mosley. He's in his office. Go on back. There we go. All right. Open says me. Okay, um... So what's this? Mosley's office door is unassuming, unlike Mosley himself. Okay, so he's right here. There's a photocopy machine in the office area. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> Can I ask you a few questions, ma'am? I'm sorry, sir, but I really have to finish these reports. <laughs> okay, fine. Here we go. We'll go to Mosley's office. There he is. Mostly okay. my man. Yeah, yeah, what is it, you wanker? <laughs> Sounds that's a British expression. Yo wanker. Alright, so we should be able to get a lot of info out of mostly here. So, how's it hanging, bud? Lousy. I hate crime scenes. People are sick fucks, you know that night? I'm starting to get that impression. You been feeling okay lately? You look like hell. Me? Ah, uh, you know, I can't sleep at night what with thinking about the case and thinking about Annie. I can relate. Played any b-ball lately? We're just shooting Does the shit. Does it look like it? I'm so out of shape, I'd probably <laughs> have a coronary just looking at a ball. I'm out of it too. We should play sometime. Get back into shape. Man, I'd love to, Knight. I'll let you know if things ever settle down. Anything else new? Just work. Sorry I don't have more time to chat, bud. Okay, we can enter like formal dialogue with him, I think. Hey, what do you think about this photo of you? Why'd you give me this? I have that photo of you graduating from the police academy. Yeah, my mom loves that one. Yeah, so why'd you give that to me? It was in the envelope. Yeah, let's talk about this. Can we talk about this photo? What's this photo all about? I have that murder photo you left for me. Good. Just don't let anybody know I gave it to you. I wouldn't show it to a soul. Right. Because we're going to solve the case, aren't we? Would you like some hair gel, mostly? I have this. That's nice, but I'm busy with the real investigation tonight. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Okay, uh, I think we're good on things to show him right now. Let's take a look around the office. Mosley's office looks a lot like his room at college. Uh, what about on his desk? Mosley's desk has more groin on it than on his head. <laughs> okay. A microwave. If Gabriel knows Mosley, it's used exclusively for frozen corn dogs. Oh my god. Lots of unsolved cases, perhaps? Mosley must have a million of them. Lots of Let's see, what's this on the ground? Mosley's office. Okay. 
There's not a whole lot to look at around here. What about, what about this painting? Art Prince of the Mall Variety. Okay, it's not much interesting. All right, let's just talk to him. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. All right, here we are. Let's talk to Mosley. Let's talk to him about, uh, let's ask him about voodoo. What can you tell me about voodoo? There's voodoo that goes on in this city, sure. I looked into it a bit at the beginning of this case. But the voodoo stuff found at the crime scenes is all faked. It doesn't have anything to do with the real stuff. I know, I asked some experts. It's intimidation tactics, that's all. Hmm. How about the voodoo murders? What do you know about the voodoo murders? Lots. Can you be more specific? Oh, wow. Let's ask him a bunch of stuff. Do you know anything about the killers? Do you know anything about the killers? At least 20 people attend the killings. We know this from the variety of footprints found at the scene. Footprints? Aren't those as good as fingerprints? Can be. But we'd have to have a suspect in custody first, and the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. Most of the footprints are smudged, trodden over, unreadable. These guys are so casual in their expertise, it's maddening. Like they know we'll never find them. How many murders have there been so far? How many murders have there been so far? Seven murders have so far been linked to the Voodoo Murders case. Now, the first murder occurred about eight weeks ago. The M.O. was the same in each murder. Lake Ponchar Train was a seven. Hmm, okay. What kind of evidence have you found? What kind of evidence have you found? No fingerprints, a few bare footprints. Found a few fibers, but not many. The weirdest one was leopard fur. Leopard fur? <laughs> a leopard fur? Describe the crime scenes. Describe the crime scenes. Well, there's the corpse itself, minus the heart. Mm. Around where the body was killed, we find marks and flour and blood. There are traces of wax from candles, red and black. Ordinary wax candles, so the lab reports. Also blood and feathers of chickens. Also goat's blood. And plenty of the victim's own, of course. Wow. Very, uh, interesting. What does the coroner say? What's the coroner say? The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one of them. Lovely. Any idea what they do with them? Don't even want to know. Also, the coroner says some of the victims had heart attacks before the incision. Literally scared to death. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy-edged knife. Probably a ritualistic dagger. Any witnesses? Any witnesses? Nope. There's never been a single witness. No one's even heard of disturbance. It's damn weird. Like they just don't want people to see, and so nobody sees nothing. Know anything about the victims? Know anything about the victims? The victims are all out of towners. We still don't know why. Really? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Oh, nothing. Never mind. Sure. No problem. All right. We asked a lot. I'm not sure how much we actually learned there. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering who voices Detective Mosley, it's none other than Mark Hamill. A.K.A. Luke Skywalker, A.K.A. the Joker from Batman. Hobgoblin from the Spider-Man cartoon series as well. Yeah, that's him. So we're witnessing a conversation between Tim Curry and Mark Hamill right now in this 90s point-and-click adventure game. That's how big these games used to be. These used to be the blockbusters back in 1993. Can you imagine? People, people would play this nowadays and they'd be like, Where's the gameplay? It's just the walking simulator. All you do is walk around. Where's the gameplay? You can't even defend yourself. There's just no combat. This is why I always get so annoyed with those people. I'm like, do you know that like the biggest games in the world used to be walking sims? They're called adventure games. That's the term you're thinking of. Anyway, old man yells at Cloud. Let's go ahead and ask about New Orleans. What can you tell me about New Orleans? You and me grew up together, you tell me. It's a pretty nice place, even seeing the stuff I see. You know, 
The quarter's getting a bit too wild, though. Getting hard to control. Not quite what it was when you and me used to hang here, but... Hell, I've never known anything else. What about Capri Saint Carl? Do you have any idea what Capri Saint Carl means? Hell no. Is that French? My mother spoke it, but I always had a hard enough time just speaking English. True enough. Let's ask you about yourself, mostly. Tell me about yourself. For the book? Sure, why not? Okay, what do you want to know? Uh, I like working on the police force. How'd you like working on the police force? Are you kidding? You know I love being a cop. In New Orleans, it's the best place in the world to be one. I'm going to stop reading out the... The questions. I'm just not used to them saying exactly what the question says. Because I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 lately where, you know, I don't know. I guess you have to voice them in that game. Anyway. What are your plans for the future? Well, you know, I don't like to count my chickens before they're hatched. But I don't see why I can't be the chief of police in New Orleans someday. I already know the mayor and my record is one of the best in the department. I'm sure it's just a matter of moments, mostly. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. Got any hobbies? Yeah, making your life miserable. I'm serious. Don't you shoot or chew or something like that? No, I'm a freaking ballet dancer. Chief. Yeah, I was number one at the Louisiana State Fair Marksman Contest. I play trumpet, too. You know, put your lips together and blow. <laughs> okay, Mosley. Don't be weird about it. How's your home life? Oh, real funny, Knight. Why don't you just bring in some freaking salt? Well, you know Annie left me. My home life is shit. Right. Sorry about that. Just tell me anything at all. Just tell me anything at all. Remember how we used to play Monkey in the Middle? <laughs> we used to piss off our senior year teacher. What was her name? Ms. McKelly? You'd act like you were gonna toss her an eraser or something. Then you'd throw it to me over her head. And we used to do it at your grand's, too. Like with the remote when she wanted to watch your soaps. Yep, and it was a great way to pick up women in the library. Oh, oh those were the days. Okay. Oh, nothing, never mind. I want to get more. your dime. I want to get more relevant um, uh, uh, information to the case. That's the word. Information. Tough word to remember. What's the status on the voodoo murders case? It's going. Can't seem to make any progress, though. Sluggish damn case. It's weird. Hmm. How about getting me some coffee? Coffee? You want coffee? Should that surprise you? Nah, you've always been a caffeine addict. It's just that what we got here hardly qualified. So, I'm desperate. It's your stomach. I'll get you some when we're done talking. That long? <laughs> All right, I'll go now. Oh, really? Oh, <gasps> we can search his desk while he's gone. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. I wouldn't dream of it. Not me. There's no reason to. Ah, oh, I was so fast. That's clearly what you're supposed to do later, though. Here, drink it. Once we've got something to actually like distract him for. Thanks. Wait, is that a pill bottle right there? Look at that. That's funny. That window's a mirror on the other side. Oh, it's a one-way window? That's... Oh, what is that? You guys see what I'm talking about? Anyway, do I have, like, a couple coffee? This coffee's is or? the last page of inventory. My bad. My bad. Yeesh. Okay. Can I ask you about... Okay, let's go back to, uh... Yeah, photographs. I got those photographs you left for me. Really? Great. What'd you think? Astonishingly lifelike. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got any more ideas for photos for the book? A cop author photo might be nice. A cop author photo might be nice. 
You and me? Together? Why not? Of course, you'll have to try to tone down your masculinity. Well, okay. Now I'll call the police photographer. Okay. Franks, come here a minute, would you? Bring your camera. Wait. What did you need, Detective Mosley? We need a picture, please. And make it a good one, huh, sweetheart? Sure, sweetheart. Oh. Say, Jincy. Was there anything else, Knight? Uh, hold on a second while I go check my hair. How about one of me and Officer Franks? <laughs> How about one of me and Officer Franks? Gee, I don't know. Franks? Uh, um... <laughs> Just kidding, Franks. You want to get me fired for sexual harassment night? Well... Yeah, ha ha. Now, is there anything else, or can I let this lady go back to her desk? Hmm. I think I go check my hair. Nope, that's about it. We're trying to get her right. away. It's like Thanks, a distraction. Friends. Hey, I made a rhyme. We'll do that You're later, I guess. Astonishing, mostly. Hey, don't call me that in front of the lady wise guy. I think what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to ask for coffee, mostly leaves, we grab something from his desk or something, I'm not sure what we're supposed to take, but then, um, Love. let's see. Mostly, most, 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 mostly's phone, mostly. Mosley's and then we're supposed to say we 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 gotta go check our hair To get her out of the main room. Maybe we use the photocopier. I think that's how we get like a copy Police of something department memos and other didactic blurbs I'm, I'm just guessing I, I think I, I I am struggling to remember it. Let's see Pattern around bodies. Do you know anything about the patterns around the bodies? Yeah, weird, huh? All seven victims had those little marks around we got all the marks on file, but we haven't figured out what, if anything, they mean. Okay. Insult. Have you ever called a hair club for men? I'd rather have no hair than your hair, Knight. <laughs> so how'd you ever find anything in this office? It looks like ground zero. Hey, I get my job done. I'm a detective, not Betty Cracker. Um, let's see, should we show him anything? Like... I was wondering if we were supposed to have, um... The, uh... The Reverend clothes on for the photo? But I don't know. Is there anything Mosley. here that I'm supposed to take? Mosley. An intercom. How high tech. Logs of... It's just unsolved Love. cases. Love. There's not anything Love. in here that we're like. Mosley's off. Love. Yeah. Mosley's off. This is the pixel Mos hunting that kind of gets annoying. Mosley's. Mosley's. Mo Mosley's off. A microwave. Art prints of. Yeah, there's not anything that I can find. I'm like pixel hunting, but. Nice polyester. Looks like something Mosley keeps around for farmer kids. Nice. Uh. Hmm. Let me talk to him one Can more time and see. Let's see. If I ask him to get me coffee, I can search something, but it's like you have like. It feels like five seconds before he gets back. You don't have much time at all. Hmm. Other six patterns. Can I see the other six patterns? Oh, here we go. Uh, sure. 
People like that kind of stuff, don't they? Might make the book seem more mysterious. But go talk to Officer Frank. Tell her I said you could see the fire. Oh, okay, that's that's what we needed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk to Officer Frank. The chute doesn't open. Oh, okay. I was clearly talking about the door. All right, see you, Mosley. Hey, you said I could see the file. Um, so... Just a few questions. Officer Frick or Detective Mosley could probably be more help, sir. Frick. I forgot his name was Frick. Hey. Excuse me, officer. Yes? So what's it like being a policewoman? Can you get a file for me? Could you get me some coffee? Oh, never mind. So, what's it like being a policewoman? The glamour never ceases. Okay. Um, yes. Could you get a file for me? Can you get a file for me? What file would that be? The voodoo murders file? Detective Mosley said I could see it. Really? Well, if he said so. There it is. You can look at it all you want, but don't leave this area with it, okay? And no photocopies either, I'm afraid. Of course. I understand completely. Mmm. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Uh, let's take a look. It's the official police file containing the partial patterns from the voodoo murders. The folder is marked with the warning. Not to leave the police station. Hmm. Okay. The police file contains partial patterns from the first six voodoo murders. We can take this back to the crime scene. Okay. Now, obviously we're not going to leave the area with it, but now we ask for a photograph. Don't leave the room with that file, please. Oh, what the hell? It's a file cabinet. So we're gonna have to get it out of the file cabinet, I guess. Um. Okay, I guess we'll give it back for now. Now that we've seen where she got it from. I'm done. Yeah, thanks. Oh, oh, it's right there. It's left right there. It's an inbox. There's a file folder in it. Okay, that makes things easier. Okay. Oh, whoa, he like zipped over there. All right, I'd like a photograph of us again. It didn't really turn out so well uh, the first time. Mosley, you understand, Glad right? Uh, I got those photos. So you said. Well, let's take another cop author let's shot. Let's take another cop author shot. What for? I don't think we got your best side. Really? Okay. I'll have Franks come in again. Okay. Hmm. Franks, come back in here with that camera. Yeah, come on in, Franks. Take a photo of us, if you don't mind. <laughs> now what, sir? Ooh. That clown wants another picture. You don't mind, do you? Of course not. What else could I possibly have to do? Wow. Anything else, Knight? I gotta go check my hair. Hold on a sec while I go check my hair. Good God, Knight. Make it fast. Yeah, here I go. Knowing them, I've got I've actually gotta be fast. Let me see that file again. Okay. Photocopy? <laughs> Just wanna check this machine here. <laughs> nice, nice. Really fast. Uh, and then we put it back, obviously. 
Yeah, we got a point for all those. Okay, we're back. Would you just get in here? I'm coming. You know what? I really don't want to take another shot, so. Hurry up, would you? Okay, ready. Thanks, hon. Let me know when you got it developed. Uh, <sighs> the photos, that is. Yeah. What? What? Sure. What? What the hell? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, great. So we got. I've developed. She's. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Gabriel has a photocopy of the official police file containing the partial patterns from the voodoo murder. We might want to ask the drugstore guy about that. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. All right, see you later, mostly. <laughs> I'm going to hit the road. Have a good one. How'd the game know I was going to leave? Wow. Very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and leave now. Okay, you know, it's interesting. I mean, I guess we go to the crime scene. And we and we check the patterns to see what uh using that on the lines wouldn't be helpful. Are you sure? You sure? You sure about that? Uh, can I look at it? Gabriel. I guess I do this one for it. Hmm. Are you sure these aren't there? Like. Sorry. I'm... Well, that's very annoying. Okay, maybe that's not exactly what I needed to do. Let's go to Grandma Knight's house. I don't think I have anything new to ask her, Gabriel, but... Gabriel, come in! Hi, Gran. Make yourself at home, son. I think we actually can explore the house. I'm gonna try to see if I can go upstairs. I'm gonna go up to the attic, Gran. Be careful of the dust. You know, it's funny, um, I don't know how many of you saw my Kathy Rain playthrough years ago, but after playing Gabriel Knight, I'm like, Kathy Rain borrows so heavily from Gabriel Knight. There are so many similarities, all the way down to exploring the attic at your grandma's place. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Grandma's attic is a storehouse of forgotten treasures and useless junk. Wow. An elaborate mechanical clock. Probably of German origin is among the discarded treasures of the attic. It doesn't seem to be running at the moment. Hmm. There's a sketchbook on the chair that Gabriel vaguely remembers as his father's. Let's open that. Or uh, I guess to do the oh to do the door open. It might be better to pick it up first. Oh, you guys are so specific about the order in which I do these things. I think I'll take Daddy's sketchbook with me. Yeah, it's very important. Okay, let's uh, let's open it up. <coughs> oh my God! Images haunt the pages of Philip Knight's sketchbook. The way they must have haunted his mind. The images touch a deep card in Gabriel. So familiar are they that he finds it hard to believe they aren't from his own subconscious. Hmm. Three snakes. Images haunt the pages of the again, and then there's like big cats Three snakes again Twice there's three snakes just like that uh, painting Okay um, What's in here there's nothing I want in there are you sure? It looks like tools or something. That box of knickknacks has been up there for at least five years. Okay. Um. Gabriel are these Christmas has lights? Seen these ornaments every year at Christmas for as long as he can remember. Okay. 
Um, let's, let's just go ahead. Hebrew doesn't want to take the clock. Well, okay, work on it, please. Operate it. Okay. Take a look at this. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. A key winds the clock's mechanism. A ring of six symbols surround the face of the clock. A sword, a sun, an angel, a noose, an eclipse, and a dragon. A dragon. Dre Draken. Three dragon. Do we maybe Gabriel doesn't Do we maybe adjust the hands it? do not appear to have any mechanical function other than to move. Okay, so the face of the clock doesn't move. Oh okay, but we can finally do it. Oh my gosh, this is so um okay. The face of the the face of Oh, I see. Okay. So we want to do 3 dragon. Dre draken. Oh my god. Um nothing happens. You sure about that? Okay, let's see. Let's try it like this then. Nothing happens. Dre dragons. Three dragons. Let's see. It's the six symbols. So at twelve, two, four, six, eight, and ten, aren't they? The face of the clock. Is that is that not right? Not. I don't know, man. Um, I thought I had that. Grandma's attic is a storehouse of forgotten treasures and useless junk. They got the three. They got the three snakes in the sketchbook. Like that just seems like that would be. They'll be right. Um, it's a lady's hat from the 1920s. From Grand's Virginia Woolf period. Grandma's attic is a store. It's an old metal tub full of dust and cobwebs. What about this trunk here? The old trunk looks like it's gone to hell and back. Can I can I open the trunk? The lid is blocked by the clock. Why don't you move the clock out of the way? Gabriel doesn't want to take the clock. Move the clock, then. Would you like to move the clock? Oh, my God. Okay. I don't think there's anything in that trunk that would interest anybody but my grand. Well, then why are we opening it? Look inside. The trunk contains some old clothes, including a pair of leather shorts. Aren't those called lederhosen? Serious hiking boots. More of Harrison Knight German book. Just what I need. And a bundle of letters. Love letters between Harrison and Rebecca. Isn't that nice? Are you sure there's nothing in here that I would need? Like. The trunk doesn't operate. You're so weird. I don't think there's anything in that trunk that would interest anybody but my grand. Um... It looks pretty heavy. But we can move the uh, clock out of the way. Is there something that we might want to put in there? Nope. Hmm... The trunk contains leather holes and Hiking boots, German books, German and a books. bundle of granddad and grand's love letters. Hmm. It's one of grand 
an elaborate mechanical clock, probably of German origin. There's all this Germany stuff. It's among the <clears throat> discarded treasures of the attic. It doesn't seem to be running at the moment. Oh, I've noticed. Trust me, I've noticed. What? You can move the outer circle. I just didn't know that. Yeah, it's much more clearly a dragon here. Okay, so... Do I put the dragon at three? The face of the clock. Nothing happens. Hmm. I put maybe. Do I make it like. Like that? Granddaddy, you old fox. So you have to have the dragon icon at 12. And then you have to have the clock at 3 o'clock. So was I had the right idea, I just... Why do that to the photo? How about... Okay, just take the photo, take the photo. And whatever this is. Okay. Phew. Okay, let's take a look at... Um, what do we get? Oh, okay. The old photograph show Gabriel's grandfather with two other men that Gabriel has not identified. Okay. Those and two are... Take a look at this. The letter is addressed to Heinz Ritter. Whoever that is. They're the person that was calling. Bro, are, do you even pay attention? He called you earlier. Narrator. All right, let's see. What's this? Wanna take a look at this photograph? That's it. Take a load off, huh? Does this mean anything to you, Grain? That one in the middle is your grandfather. Those other two, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Does this mean anything to you, Grain? Uh, no, dear. I'm afraid I don't speak a word of German. Okay. What about the sketchbook? Does this mean anything to you, Grain? I believe that was your father's, Gabriel. You keep it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you kindly. Can we talk? Of course, my Let's see. Hmm. Hey, take a look at this. The letter is written in German, but Gabriel determines what he can about it. It was sent from a place called Schloss Ritter in Rittersburg, West Germany. The letter is addressed to mein Sohn Heinz and signed Wilhelm Ritter. One of the reoccurring words strewn throughout the letter is the word Schattenjäger. The only thing that Gabriel can decipher about the letter is a sense of urgency in the handwriting and in the heavy use of quill tip bold strokes and underlining. Okay, we got something from that. I'm wondering if maybe the single uh we can show it to her now. Does this mean anything to you, Grain? Oh. No. Maybe it unlocks a keyword with her. Heinz Ritter, here we go. Do you know anyone named Heinz Ritter? Heinz Ritter? Oh, Gabriel, where did you hear that name? I found a letter in Granddaddy's clock. I promised I'd never tell you or your father, but I suppose it doesn't matter now. Tell me, Gran. 
Your <laughs> granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before he came to America. He changed it to Harrison Knight legally when he arrived. Well, then how could I have gotten a call from Heinz Ritter? Or no, I, I got a call from Ritter, right? But not Heinz Ritter. Granddad. Okay, so granddad's name was Heinz Ritter. He changed it to Harrison Knight. Philip Knight was my father. So a Ritter could be a cousin. <gasps> Schottenjäger. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Schottenjäger? Schottenjäger. How are you, Gabriel? I haven't heard that word in years. Well, what is it? Goodness, you've given me a chill. Your granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Really? Do you know what it means? No, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I don't think he answered me. Hard. Hmm. Thanks, Grant. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think... I think we've done well. Here. Ah, 54 out of 342. That kind of lets you know how well we're doing. Well, Grant, I better get going. Oh, yeah, I'm done. All right, dear. Dunzo. Thank you. This has been very enlightening. Thank you. Love ya. Um, hmm. Let's go to the drugstore. I'll show them these symbols. Hi. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, what do you think about these? Huh? Do you recognize this pattern? Don't look familiar at all, sir. That's too bad. Hmm. What about the stuff in this sketchbook, huh? Well, that. You know something. Does this mean anything to you? I don't know anything about that at all. Hmm. What good are you, dude? You recognize these people at all? Does this mean anything to you? I don't know anything about that at all. Well, that is too bad. Can I ask you about, ask uh... Schottenjäger? Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Man, I don't even know what language that is. It's German, I think. Okay. Damn. You have not been very helpful. Well, you have a little bit. More... Like, you didn't, you didn't mean to, but... Can you go to the Voodoo Museum? Let me check there. Hi. Look around all you want. Well, okay, thanks. thanks. Thanks so much. The back wall displays various voodoo items, such as... An anatomically correct voodoo doll, with pins strategically placed. Now, why does that remind me of Grace? <sighs> I don't know. You're kind of a kind of a perv, dude. A counter at the back displays brochures and a donation basket. Can I look at the brochures? Oh my god, you walk so slowly in here. I don't need money that badly. Besides, what? it's empty. Well what about even if that were for sale? I want a brochure. I don't need money. Besides. Gabriel cannot counter at the back displays brochures and a donation basket. Hmm. Hey, would you like to see this pattern? Do you know anything about this? Nope. Damn. Uh, what about this? I like, I like just showing this. Do you know anything people. about this? Nope. Oh wow, I didn't really have much of a reaction to that, did ya? Um... I guess there's not really much... much else to ask about. Hi. So, how's the museum business? I don't know. I don't normally work here. So, how's the museum? I don't know. I don't normally work here. 
You are really. You are really the door nuts. The is already open. Ah, uh, then go, then walk through it. <laughs> uh, I'll be gone now. Thanks. So long. Yeah, we're not really getting much. Um. Okay, what's like? Maybe we go back to the bookshop. That seems to be like the most consistent. Phew, it's humid out there. <laughs> Made it back though. Oh joy. Maybe we can ask her to research Schottenjaeger, perhaps. Something to think about. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Schottenjaeger? Have you ever heard of a Schottenjaeger? No. Is that a voodoo word? I don't think so. It's German. Hmm. No, but it has a nice ring, doesn't it? Schottenjaeger. It sure does. Do you have messages for me? Nope. None right now. Well, nobody wants to talk to me. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? Check out Malia Getty. Interesting that of all the things to ask her to research, it's that woman that was in the car at the crime scene. Could you see what you can find oh, out about a woman Actually, named we saw her tomb Malia at the Getty. cemetery. Hmm. The name Getty sounds familiar. What's your interest in her? Oh, just, you know, stuff about the voodoo murders. If you could get an address... Mm-hmm. They're murders. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Anything else? Mmm, can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. Okay. All right, well, great job. Well, oh, it's about closing time. Oh. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Oh, day one's done. Good night, Gabriel. And uh, try not to dream, okay? Interesting. I guess requesting research was the way to end the day. There's a lot about the game I don't know. Uh, okay, so day one complete. Now time for day two. Look how tiny it is. So that's the uh, the intro to the game as well, which I decided to skip because I feel like you guys would see it and be like, what is going on? A mask I wore as I approached, I was what I am not, and though the pattern was unclear, its meaning could be bought. Okay, day two, let's go. Good morning. Don't you look swell today? Actually, swollen. Oh. So have some. There's a fresh pot on the table. Seriously, you look like hell. Your hair is sticking straight up like a... Oh. It always does that. Never mind. Ha ha. Did you dream about the fire and the hang guy and that lion thing last night? Leopard, not lion. Did you get anything on Malia Getty? Well, I did get her address, but you're a little out of your league here, big fella. The Gettys own three local hospitals, just to name a few of their assets. They run in very high circles. Did you get an address? I got the address. I suppose this has nothing to do with the fact that Malia Getty is incredibly gorgeous. I should have known you wouldn't go for a rich, ugly socialite. And that address is... Hey! Far be it from me to postpone your total humiliation. It's 557 West England. That's a garden district, a state city. 
That's all I wanted to know, and yes, my dear, Malleagetti is the most dangerous-looking diversion I've ever seen. Ouch! Oi, men. Well, this is probably a good time, good time as ever, to end the video. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. Uh, we're, we're just now, like, starting to get into the intrigue of the game. Uh, 57 out of 342 points. So you can take from that that we're like, uh, 1617 through the game-ish. You know, take, uh, take 50 points or so. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Sometimes you get the points really quickly. Like back to back, and sometimes you get the points very far apart. So, it's not super accurate, but, um, yeah. So I'd say we'd have... <coughs> I can't remember exactly how many days the game is, but I'm guessing seven? Just based on the points? We'll see. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think so far. Uh, try to keep it spoiler free, and I'll see you in the next bit. Think critically.